Dogs Drive In and Dives review. This uh, this month we are at Whistle Bridges in Dallas, Texas. Season 28, Episode 5 of Diamonds, Drive Ins and Dives. Yay. So, um, yeah. okay. we'll catch you guys back with the review after. This is going on my story because we at the mother daughter. We're at a uh, whistle brisk, and I'm here with my mom. Bridges is bridges. Whistle bridges, like your name. Okay. Whistle bridges. So yeah, we're about to order some food. Let me show y'all the menu. Look at that. Not as expensive this time. A little expensive, but not as expensive as the last time where we went in Austin to. Foreign domestic, which was A1 day one. She cannot stop talking about foreign and domestic. I cannot. Guys, so far, we've had this French onion dip. They got shirts over there. Well, onion dip. Whatever they call it, but yeah. Mm. Mm. We're eating it, but it's not worth it. My mom is eating it. I stopped eating, eating it. It's something I could have made at home. I'm just not impressed. Yeah. It's not nasty. It's not uh, excellent. Something I would, you know, expect in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Me, I just wouldn't would do it. Just send it back. Get my money back. Nope. Why would I spend nine dollars for this? Why? I'm struggling because it was a struggle in there, okay? It was a little struggle. Let me just set the mood. Knew it was going to be bad already when we couldn't even take the picture properly. The going up in there, before we even got in there, we were supposed to take a picture of the building. And I was going to take a picture in front of it. I was going to take a picture in front of it. I didn't even take a picture in front of the building because the lighting was off. They were busy. Don't get me wrong. They had people in there, in and out, but it just... I don't understand how they're busy. Listen, we received chicken, bone-in chicken, because we like bone-in chicken. Dark chicken, no, not not white. Right. I don't like breast, and uh, I'll eat a wing, but I prefer dark meat. Right. So I got the chicken and waffles um, because on the episode he had chicken, waffles, and watermelon. But um, on the menu, the chicken and waffles come with chicken tenders, and I don't like chicken tenders, so I requested bone-in chicken. And so, before we placed our order for our meal, we received, what was it, onion dip? Caramelized onion yeah. dip? Yeah, it was caramelized onion dip. And that's not something that Guy Fieri reviewed on the episode, but that's what we wanted to try. And it was onion dip with, with fried onion. Yes, deep fried onion. On top of the dip, and then potato chips, just plain uh, Lay's potato chips or their house potato chips. Yeah, they had house ranch potato chips, but I didn't taste the ranch on the chips. Right, it said house chips, house ranch potato chips, but I didn't taste right. ranch. They just look like plain potato chips with yeah. just salt. And they bought it from the store. Right, and so the dip itself wasn't anything that was exciting. I mean, it I could have made it at home. Right. It tastes like what we make at home right. for like our holiday kind of like appetizers, starters, whatever you want to call it. Throughout right. the day, we snack on until we get to the actual meal. That's what it tasted like to me. Like they just used some sour cream and maybe some cream cheese and mixed in some right. onion and they didn't put enough seasoning in it for me. So I was disappointed in that appetizer. Yep. 
and then I had, as I mentioned, the chicken and waffles, bone-in chicken and waffles. And um, when they brought the chicken out, when they brought my plate out, the chicken looked brown and it looked old. And you'll see it in the picture. And uh, when I tasted it, it tasted like it had been sitting out or either it was fried in old grease. And I was just disappointed in the chicken. The waffle was delicious. It was light, airy, and fluffy. And so they brought me some kind of jalapeno syrup with that, and I didn't like it. So um, I opted to get just regular maple syrup, and that the waffle was great. So I ended up having to send my chicken back. And when I spoke to the manager, she mentioned that they changed the grease twice a day. Wait, before she even got to the manager, okay. we had to tell the waiter, you know, that you know my mom's chicken, well, all both of our chicken wasn't fried fresh or it just tasted old and when the waiter came she said oh yeah I know what you're talking about like I was in my head at that moment I'm like wait what I'm not expecting my waiter to say she knows what I'm talking about like she didn't seen this before <laughs> like she knows that like they sitting in the back there pre making the chicken and just come because our food came out so fast like our chicken like everything came out really really fast and I was just like chicken take usually eight to ten minutes you know to cook at least and then maybe 15 because you know thighs are bigger right. so i'm like how's our chicken already done we had three pieces each so i'm like that's six pieces of chicken that gotta fry in the same oil at the same time to come at the same rate so that's gonna take longer because every piece of chicken gonna make that oil temperature change you know i'm getting into my culinary arts going back like our chicken came out too fast when i look at them like this looks look like it's just been sitting it's old I put my finger on the chicken. It was very greasy. Like, it was just... The new batch of chicken they brought out, I stuck my finger on it. There was no grease residue. So I knew it either had been old chicken or had been fried in old oil because old oil would just cling to the chicken. And you just get extra oil because it's so right. thick and old. so greasy. Right. And so, so when I was speaking to the manager about it, she explained that they changed the grease twice a day. Uh, keep in mind, we're at brunch and it's two o'clock now so we were in there at one and they opened at 10 so this should have been fresh fresh grease of the day and so like I told the manager I'm like you can look at it and see that it's brown and it doesn't look delicious right but she still wanted to let me know that they changed the grease twice right. a day okay like now you tell me that I'm like maybe I should be changing it three times a day because two times ain't, ain't enough for all this chicken y'all frying so that was disappointing. Um, the reason why we do these episodes is because we want to just give you guys an upfront raw look at how regular customers come in, you know, and order the food. And if they don't know, you know, we're admiring what they're doing. If they don't expect us to be a food critic, then they just get the service that you receive, you right. know. You may get old food, you may get fresh food, but it's not something where they're delivering their best every time. And what the celebrity chefs do, they go in and review and put their the people out there. But when a regular schmeller customer comes in like me and they're not getting that same quality, it's kind of like a slap to the consumer's face. Right. Like you promoted these people and they're not giving me what you received. Right. When you went there and review, I'm getting a whole different thing. I just spent my money here because you said that there was a good recommendation. And that's what we've been finding out every time we go through these different places. It's been more lows and highs on for Guy Fieri for me. Like I have to keep giving him props for a uh, foreign domestic in the other video because that was the first high moment I really had though where I can't say that you know there was anything negative. It was only high points there. And that's what I'm looking for when we do these reviews. It's high points so we can give the consumer a really detailed app like no matter if Guy Fieri, Chef Ramsey, any of these celebrity chefs going, it's going to taste just like this every time because we the consumer have went in there and tried it ourselves and been able to get that same representation that was on TV. And I'm tired of just seeing things on TV and it not being that in real life. <laughs> because the chicken tastes like they brought fresh chicken. Right. But it's still the batter flavor tastes like something that you can make at home. It right. wasn't anything that would make me drive back over here. Yeah. Because Babe's chicken to me is better. Um and the potato salad, she had potato salad as oh, her yeah. side. And it tastes like it came right out of a container. Yeah. I mean, I like was very bar. surprised. I was like, oh, they didn't cook these potatoes today. 
it was, the potatoes were dry, but at first, when I tasted the actual potato salad, just in general, just had that first bite, it tasted like Kroger potato salad to me. It's it mustard really, potato salad. Yeah, it's mustard. It's real, it was really mustard. I'm like, I looked at it, I'm like, this don't look like fresh potato salad. Like, they had stirred it with their hands and kind of like tossed the, the mayo around a little bit. Because, you know, when you do potato salad, you don't want it to be mushy. You want to be chunky because it's not mashed potato salad, it's potato salad. So when I'm looking at it, I'm like, the consistency, all the textures are not right. Then when I go in for the taste, all I taste is relish, mustard, mayo, potato. I don't taste any other season. I don't taste, you know, I saw people put a little dill in there for their potato salad. They'll throw grapes, raisins, and that kind of stuff. They were more of the basic side of potato salad. It was very basic. There was no egg to be found. And that's how my mom makes potato salad. She'll throw egg in there, a little onion in there. Yeah, you know, the, you know pep, yes, all those flavors. People flavor. People flavor. <laughs> I'm like, I go to a restaurant, I'm not going for bland food, I'm going for flavor. And that store-bought flavor, I'm looking for that home-grown flavor that you brought to this establishment. And I didn't get that. I got, I got, it. my food just came out too fast, okay? The only thing on my plate that I liked was the biscuit. Because I also got some fresh berries. You know, it's summer, so the the fruit should be so sweet and just delicious. Whoever picked the produce, the strawberries weren't sweet enough at all. I feel like the blueberries were a lot sweeter. I didn't get any of the, they had raspberries and blackberries that came with the little berry um, side side dish that I had. But I just wanted strawberries and blueberries because I really don't like the seeds and the blackberries and the raspberries. So out of those two fruits that I did try, I like the blueberries more, but the blueberries could have been sweeter too because I've had sweeter blueberries as well. I don't think they're getting organic because the only blueberries I've had that are the sweetest is the organic blueberries and organic strawberries. They really know how to pick them. But yeah, guys, my my review for this place, well, my star rating, I'm going to have to give it a 2.5 mm -hmm. because that biscuit was really good. I really like the biscuit with that butter. I don't know about that jam that came with the biscuit, but the butter was good. It, it saved it saved that the biscuit really saved me from giving it a one star because if that biscuit wasn't really that good, I would have it would have been one. But since the biscuit was pretty good and I like the butter, I'd give it 2.5. And I'm gonna give it a two I'm gonna give it a two point five as well because my waffle was really good. I was very surprised at how light fluffy and airy that it was because everyone can't make waffles like that um, and when I added the fruit and the, the regular maple syrup it enhanced the flavor of because I believe they were giving us butter or a honey kind of butter with the um, with the chicken and the waffles and with the biscuits so it's not like regular butter it's probably their special honey butter right. and it was good yeah so um, I had a Topo Chico drink I like sparkling water and that was delicious, you know. I didn't. I don't oh, have any yeah. complaints about that. I had a strawberry uh, lemonade that I had to get to go because I had like three cups of it inside. It was really good. Mom said that it tasted like a syrupy uh, strawberry mix, mix. Mm -hmm. but she said it was still good. But she just thought it was gonna be a fresher. If I'm going in there, I kind of feel like it wasn't really gonna be fresh ingredients and just not farm to table, but just more fresh ingredients than what we have been getting because just. How it looks and on the inside is just really popping. I don't think anybody's taking the time to just look for those items out there. Because when I went into Fort Mesa, I knew they were doing some fancy, fancy. Just I could just the vibe was just there. You knew they were looking for those finer ingredients, fresher ingredients. And I don't think you've heard the last of her mentioning Fort Mesa. Oh no, because no, she no, has no. not shut up. Since we got back from Austin. Yes. Born in the Mystic, born in the Mystic, born in the Mystic. I'm just like that atmosphere. I'm, I'm looking for that atmosphere. And every place I go, I'm always uncomfortable. Like when we do these reviews, I'm going to let you guys know. When we do these reviews, I'm uncomfortable. The whole time I'm in the... The first time I was comfortable was at Foreign for Domestic. I didn't feel like I want to leave. I wanted to stay. I wanted to order some more. But it's too expensive. I couldn't order nothing else. Because <laughs> I, I had to cut myself off because we had another place. We had to go to after Foreign Domestic. So yes, when I when I go to a place where I'm reviewing these places, I'm looking at the atmosphere. I'm giving you guys my full honest opinion about if I'm comfortable here or if I would want you guys to be here. Because I know if you guys are sensitive like I am to people's right. being around people and just right. being in public, right. I want you guys to be able to go to a place where you guys are comfortable. And just like I'm going to the place comfortable. This place I wasn't comfortable here. It was a lot of people. It was a lot going on. 
a lot of black shenanigans going on in the background that I didn't really care for. I'm looking around, I'm looking, I'm viewing what the waiters are doing with, with each other on top of managing the customers. And I didn't like how everything was going. The way it took a little long for, for on my part, for what I feel, she took a little longer to come back and be a waitress to our table. Even though I know she it was busy, she's working the room, I feel like there could have been more effort in checking on us and giving more checkpoints. So just being and having that culinary background and knowing hospitality and just looking and been watching other food shows that kind of just keep my culinary mind adapt to what I'm supposed to be receiving versus what I'm getting at these places. I'm trying to give you guys that background of that kind of that, uh, that part of it because I, I've been in fancy places to where it's just immaculate and you just never want to go and it's like a fairy Sorry guys, the video cut out but I was going to say it's like a fairy tale yeah but yeah guys i don't think we both will be back here ever again this is the first and last time um, guy gets thumbs down so yeah, two thumbs down for I don't us know what we are on the <laughs> we were we weren't tied because we we are like one up on him now right. because Maybe we at first two. we were tied at foreign domestic then we went to that barbecue place and we got up on him because it wasn't good. And this place wasn't really that to be talking about. So yeah. we're two up, guy. Bring it back. Bring it back. So when she's saying one up, two up, she's meaning that we are either in agreement with guy and we have equaled out. We have an equilibrium as far as what he's saying versus what we understand and what right. we experience. Or either we're ahead, meaning. He has less approvals and we have more approvals as far as, maybe you want to explain it better. Yeah, so what I mean by we're two up on him is that we didn't like it. So I go into it because I say that celebrities hype everything up and they're just trying to get people's name out there and just get shows to just okay. be able to continue. So when I say we have two points up on guys that what I said was right, he just went in there tried it and it wasn't all that great because when i go in there she still tastes the same when he's in there because that's why the whole point of the tv show is so when i say we're two up on him that means he has some making up to do to prove to us that his taste buds are correct and that it's for everybody not just for show right because so. if they know you're coming if they know you're a celebrity and you're coming then they will put pull out all the stops they will make everything perfect for the celebrity but when we who follow the show show up, we may get a totally different experience. And I'm here because I just, I like to taste the food and I like God. You know, I'm a food connoisseur. We're foodies, guys. <laughs> so I want God to be right. I'm on God's side. I'm on his team. I need you to come through for us, God, because we have a lot more to get. We have a lot more to do. Only person in the team I'm on is Chef Ramsey. Oh Chef my Ramsey's team yes, is what I'm on. He, he, is he is the standard. He is the standard. Because he doesn't put up with anything. He wants everything to come out. And every time I watch people in his restaurant, they say it's so good. Mm. And that's because he is he doesn't want bad food to be put on the table. Because he wouldn't want to eat it. And we don't want that either. We exactly. want Chef Ramsey's standards. So anytime we go into a restaurant, whether it's a diner, a drive-in, or a dive, we're looking for the standard. Right. It doesn't have to be fancy. and Right all boo -woo and all this it doesn't have to just have all this extravagance but i want the standard of the quality of, of the, the food, food to be just right. immaculate let it speak for itself right. and so we do these reviews in our car because it's fresh on our mind we just left out of the restaurant right and so we want to give it to you fresh exactly but if you guys would like for us to do it in a different atmosphere let us know your thoughts right. you know if you have any suggestions any points you would like for us to to touch on in the future let us know in the comments below and until next time we'll see you in another diners driving and dives review versus Bye. versus family